hi welcome to my channel blue lady thrifting please like share and subscribe leave a comment if you would like today we are going to go through all the Christmas stuff this may take more than one video because I didn't realize how much Christmas stuff I actually had I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be able to list it all in time for Christmas in time for somebody to purchase it and then mail it I even had to add an extra shelf on the end of the table but let's start with the Santa blow mold I paid $12 for him and I got him at the menagerie and I paid $12 for him and he is a Union Products blow mold I let's see he would sell anywhere between ten and thirty dollars I thought maybe he would sell for more that he was more rare but he was not and then moving on to the ceramic Christmas trees I wanted a ceramic Christmas tree so I actually purchased this one for myself on eBay for twelve dollars and it doesn't have any chips and cracks and it doesn't have any missing lights it does not have a star but it was not meant to have a star so that's okay I paid like I said about $20 for this and it does work this one over here I found at Goodwill it is it is a nice sizable one and it actually comes in two pieces and it does work it is missing some of his lights and it does have some chipping but for $20 it's I thought it was pretty good and these ones will sell anywhere between 30 and 130 dollars on eBay so there you have that I may keep these of course for my own personal use I will need to get a new star and maybe some new lights moving on to the International Santa Claus collection I found actually I found these four We've got Ireland and Netherlands and the United States and France. I found all four of those at a garage sale and I only paid a couple of dollars for them. So I really wanted the Russian one because my kids were born in Russia. So I did get that one off eBay and I ended up getting him for free because when he arrived, his little staff right there was broken. But these, let's see, these are from Dillard's, and they're regularly um, $6 at Dillard's, you know, quite some time ago. And now for a set of six, um, you can get anywhere between $80 to $100 for the set of six. But again, I may keep these. Huh. All right, right in front of here, right in front of those are these nice... Um, champagne glasses. I liked the um, red and the green. I thought they were very pretty. Um, I paid a dollar each for these champagne glasses and they would sell for about $16 for the set. Okay, moving over here. This I believe I got at the Menagerie. I paid $3 for it and it would sell for about $7 to $12. But I just like the Santas. Okay, and then the dishes set. Let's talk about the dishes set. This is a, let's see, a Ming, Ming Pao. And I actually got this whole entire set with the dishes and the glasses and the cups and mugs and saucers and the bowl and the serving platter all at Goodwill bins and at Goodwill bins you pay by the pound so I'm thinking I only paid tops $20 for like the whole basket of everything that I got at um, Goodwill that day so this was a really good deal I thought but it is not spode as you can see it does not have the Santa on top it's got the star but it has all the wooden woodland creatures and it's a full complete set for four and with the serving pieces. So I thought maybe that would be a good deal. Um, the platter um, sells for about $20. The four mugs with the um, saucers sell for about um, $26.50. 
two dinner plates, and I have four, have sold for about um, $15. One salad plate, and I have four, has sold for $6.25. And the bowl has sold for $15. And the salad plates have also sold for about $23 and $15. So, I have seen these at um, the store where I have a shelf. And people are only asking about $20 for the whole entire set. So I don't know how this is going to go. I'm thinking I will piece them out and see how it goes. I just really don't know. We'll have to see. All right. These little Snoopy guys. I found these at a garage sale. So I didn't pay very much money for them. This one is um, the Beagle Express. Very cute. And he would sell for about $9 to $14. And then Snoopy here with his doghouse, all decorated for Christmas. He is very dirty. He needs he needs a bath. Um, he's actually made in Germany. This doghouse says Germany on the bottom. Nope, on the back. He's um, made in Germany, and he sells anywhere between twelve and twenty dollars. Let's move on to the spode. The spode I got at a garage sale is actually my mother-in-law's friend who was having the garage sale and I purchased um, some of these items at her garage sale and then she ended up giving me um, this cake stand for free so I may I'll probably keep the cake stand for myself but you can see the Santa so he is spode and if I were to sell the cake plate it would I mean the it would sell between 20 and 30 dollars now the bowl here, the clear glass bowl, would sell between $15 and $20. And the glasses, the um, what are they, the like Irish coffee glasses, for the whole set, they have sold anywhere between $15 and $60. And the, they are very nice. And let's see, let's move these so you can see the platter there. This one would sell between $10 and $20. And I'm, unfortunately, at garage sales, they don't always have everything priced, and then you barter, and so I'm not sure what the prices are. And I've only started to go through my own Christmas items, and this is one of the items from my own Christmas that I pulled out. These are um, Santa's Best Frosted Glass Snowflake Icicle Ornaments. And they actually sell anywhere between $15 and $30 each. So that was a that was a nice pull out of my own Christmas. Alright, let's move back over to the table. We have a Fitz and Floyd. Move the little angel first. The Fitz and Floyd sleigh. And I believe this is made in China. So it's one of the more modern ones. Fitz and Floyd Festive Bells. Yep, made in China. I paid $6 for this, and it would really only sell for about $8. So that might have to be a booth piece. And then this right here is a Hallmark Magic Thankful. Like, you put the batteries in, in the back. You put the batteries in. I paid $0.50 cents for it. It would sell for about $10. You put the batteries in, and then it lights up. It says, so thankful. That was cute. Little angel. All right, then I found some shelf sitters at Goodwill. These shelf sitters were um, $2.99, and I believe I got the pair of them for $2.99. And they would sell anywhere between $10 and $37. They've got the cute little button accents, and they're just, they're just nice. I like them. Then behind here, we have a set of five ruby red drinking glasses. Let's see, what did I write about them? And again, I'm not sure how much I paid for them, and I don't even re really remember where I got them from. But they are vintage ruby red Viking Georgian honeycomb thumbprint glass tumblers, and they sell anywhere between $25 and $38 for the whole set. Okay, moving over this way. Let's start with this pretty little um, Madonna and Child. I paid 
three dollars for it it's made in italy and it's probably going it might end up being a gift i'm not sure but it would sell anywhere between 20 and 45 dollars for that nice italian wood madonna okay this right here is a little bit old it's a musical miniature christmas tree it's a rock well christmas treasure it's a rocking horse and it does need it does have a piece back there that needs glued back on and it does work i um turned it on and it does work and i don't know where my little cheat sheet to tell you how much i paid for it or how much it would sell for went so sorry about that one but we'll move on to this this um i liked it because it was um art pottery it could be like a trivet or a hot plate um it's got its little marking back there which i really can't read or figure out but i paid three dollars for it and it would sell for about fourteen dollars then behind that is a pewter nativity set it's new in its box oops if i don't spill it all out and i paid five dollars for it and it would only sell for about five to ten dollars so that might be it end up being a gift or a booth piece i'll fix that later all right next let's get this little guy out of here and talk about the cup this is um japan it's made in japan and i paid a dollar for it and it sells for about 14 dollars but i liked I like the old-fashioned Santa. I really do. All right, now we'll talk about all this. This came in a lot with all these little dogs and if you t and a cat. And if you take the time to look them up, like I did look up some of them, like this spaniel right here, this wooden. No, he's not a spaniel. What is he? Scotty. That's what he is. Scotty dog. So this Scotty dog would sell for about six to ten dollars. I thought I looked him up, but apparently I can't remember. This spaniel would sell for about ten to twelve dollars. It is ceramic. And then I think I looked up some of these other ones. Oh, this little homework thimble puppy would sell for about five to eleven dollars. And then the rest of them, let's see. Gift World 1985 Gorham Mother Spaniel with the puppy. Hmm. It would sell for about $8. So I did look up, I did try to look some of them up. So if you take the time to look them up, you can tell that they sell anywhere between $5 and $10. But if you lock them all together, they would sell for about $2 each. And the cat also, eight to eight to 10. All right, let's move over here. This is probably for my daughter because she loves gnomes. I paid 50 cents for it and it would it would sell for about $12. It is, I believe, from Kohl's, that Nicholas Square. Yep, Kohl's. And then underneath is another Fitz and Floyd. And this Santa also um, is sold like with a snowman but i only have the santa i paid three dollars for him he is fits and floyd essentials again made in china so the ones made in china aren't as as desirable but he would still sell for about 25 dollars all right and then the little bangles i found these bangles they are like cloisonne and i thought they were very Christmassy with their red and green I paid $3 for them, and they would sell for about $20, that cloisonne enamel. All right, moving to the tollware. The tollware, I do believe the prices are on them. I paid $3 for this one, and the big one I paid $3 for, and the tray I paid $3 for. And I looked them all up, and they sell anywhere between, let's see, $10 a piece to $75 a piece. So 
the prices were all over the place. 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 58, 75. But I liked it. It looked Christmassy to me. And I believe it does say the date on one of them. Yep, 1948. And it's signed JEP by the person who painted it. So I just really liked those. I thought they were fun. All right, let's get into these, some of these little things back here. These Christmas carolers, they are wood and they are hand painted. And I got a lot of the whole, the whole wooden set together. But the primitive wooden carolers sell for about $5 each. And then the rest of the lot, I'm not sure about. I have to put those together in a lot and figure it out. But it's a Christmas tree and a doll and a bear and some Christmas presents and a drum. They were fun. And then behind them is a lot of wooden toy or ornaments. So we've got Santa. We've got another Santa. I'm trying to look through the camera. And we've got a little snowman and we've got a little boy. Nope. No snowman. The little boy playing basketball fell over. And then my favorite is this doggy right here. There's the basketball guy. And Santa on a sleigh, a little doll, a little monkey. So, again, I got these in a lot, and I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. But the dog would sell for about $7 to $15. The girl in the swing for about 10 The Santa in the sleigh for about 10 the monkey for about six, and the rest of them in a lot for maybe five dollars each, I'm thinking. But the Christmas ornaments, if you take the time to look them up and piece them out, you can make some money. Or you can just put them together in a lot if you can't find which ones they are specifically. And then the other ornaments were these set of bells. Now, I'm hoping I got these for half off or at least 20% off because I did pay $2 each. So that would come out to about $14 for the set. And again, hopefully I wrote on one of them. Now, they do have like a little bit of a bell. They are made in China. There you go. They are made in China. But I liked, I don't know, I just liked them. I actually thought they were like a hobbyist piece. There you go. They would sell for about $5 each. They're from the 1980s, but I liked them. All right, let's talk about this bell back here. Now he doesn't have a bell, so I need to put a bell in him so that he would make noise. But he is, his sticker is in there. He is um, Lefton, and I paid $2 for him, and he would sell between $5 and $18 if he had his bell. All right, this little guy, I paid $3 for him, and he is like a nesting. Let me see if I can open him. He is like a nesting Santa, but he doesn't have, sorry, he doesn't have any of his pieces inside. So he's just, he's a little lonesome. But he's a Christmas ornament, like a nesting doll. And I paid $3 for him, and he would sell for about $12 if he had all his pieces inside. But he may sell just on his lonesome. And then this Santa, he has a, um, like he's got pipe cleaner fur on his hat and his belt. So I just liked him. I like the, I like the old fashioned Santas. I paid $2 for him and he would sell for about $12. All right. Now this lot of Christmas ornaments, I do know I paid $6 for, and there's several different ones. Oh, that one got stuck. There's several different ones inside, but the um, shiny bright ones, the ones that are name brand shiny bright, those sell for about one to five dollars each. The cupcake sells for about 20. This little lace cutout tree sells between five and 12. The angel, see the angel, the art class angel, it sells for about 20 to 30. These pink teardrop ones are from Santa Land, and they sell for about $10 each. I have some metal angels right there. They sell for about 3 to $5 each, and there's some metal bells in there too. They sell for about $2 each. 
And there you have that. And the rest of them are probably locked together. All right, let's see what else we can fit in this video. Um, let's move on to the um, Ray Dunn. There's an Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. I paid $3 for it, and it would sell for about $10 to $15. Now, the canister back here, it says Shine. It is also a Ray Dunn, and it looks like I paid $8 for it, and I hope I got a discount. It would sell for about $16. Okay, what else should we move on to? Let's talk about these ornaments. These ornaments, um, there's a reindeer, two snowmen, and a Santa. And I paid $3 for the set of four of them. And I don't believe they're, they're marked with just a number on the back. I don't know, it looks like from an antique mall or something, like a vendor number maybe. But they would sell for about um, $7 to $12 each. And I just liked them. All right, let's talk about this Santa. This Santa is a Limoges, and he does have all his pearls, and he's very beautiful. He, there you go, Lennox. Did I say Lennox? He's a Lennox. I forget what I said. I might have said Limoges, but he's a Lennox, and I think I put his paper inside. He, I don't remember how much I paid for him. I'm thinking I got him at a um, church garage sale that just had uh, donations. And I paid, I tried to give a donation of like $5 for each item that I got, but he would sell for about 40 to $75. So this little Linux is a good thing. All right, I almost finished the whole table. I have a little bit more left on the table and then I also have this couple of shelves here. So I think I will end the video here and I'll do part two video um, the next time. And so until then, I thank you for watching.